Is it done yet? Should I keep doing it? <laughs> no, God, is this recording? Hello, and welcome to the Bloodstone Show. How you doing out there? Hey, today on our show, we have some wonderful guests. Right here we have Andrew, who happens to be the editor of a fabulous local zine called The Loogie. And next to him, we have Fifi Allen. Ah! <laughs> The man who just screamed is Blackthorn, our local maniac. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there he is. Yeah, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Andrew, had a little thing to say about smoker's etiquette? Uh, smoker's etiquette. <clears throat> well, number one lesson, never buy soft packs. They suck. Number two lesson, when you buy a hard pack, now, here we have Fifi. Fifi is not conforming to true smoker's etiquette because, as you can see, <coughs> she's not turned one cigarette upside down. Now, the rule here is that you take the first cigarette, when you open a pack, you take the first cigarette out, you turn it upside down, and you put it back in the pack. And you smoke that either last or after you get a little. When you... A little nookie. When you, uh... We're not allowed to say uh, certain words on access. No key. Why? Fuck! Hey, Sarah, we're gonna have to bleep that. <laughs> we're gonna have to bleep that out. Guys, there's more, more time in editing. Thank you. That's Jeez. why he's the local maniac. Uh, anyway, uh, what can you do? You get a anyway. show. You let people on. The show. <laughs> you first open a hard pack. It has a thing, a little foil flap that says pull. You pull it out. And you save it. You save it, and you fold it in half and you tuck it down into the plastic, which also should be on the hard pack. That is for writing down the member of the opposite or same sex's phone number that you meet in the bar. And then after you go home with that person, you smoke the cigarette you turned upside down, which is called the wish cigarette. One, one particular thing that many smokers do is they take the plastic off, they turn the pack upside down, slide it back in the plastic, and open the opposite end. This keeps small pieces of tobacco from getting on the filter end of the cigarette. I personally don't prescribe to that, that, that school of thought. However, I do enjoy blowing smoke rings with the cigarette pack if I can indeed get the plastic back on. Quick lesson in how to blow smoke rings with a, with a soft or hard cigarette pack. First, buy a pack of cigarettes. Second, take one out and light it. Third, dum -dum -dum -dum. you take the plastic down to about here. This may not work very well since this is mostly empty pack. It works best with a full pack or a hard pack. You take your freshly lit cigarette and you burn a hole on one narrow side towards the end. Like so. Then you take a drop of the cigarette, being careful, being careful not to inhale, and blow it into that area. And you merely tap, and you have smoke rings. Little tiny smoke rings. I feel like we're on a cooking show. These are great pickup lines in bars, by the way. Women fall for them all the time. 